Reaction mechanism. The Schickel reaction involves two distinct processes, the anaerobic oxidation of 2-Fe and 2-Fe by the protons of water. The reduction of two water protons is accompanied by the production of molecular hydrogen and the loss of two water molecules from the iron and iron hydroxides giving rise to its dehydration and to the formation of a thermodynamically more stable phase iron oxide. Dot. The global reaction can thus be decomposed in half redox reactions as follows 2 ions 2 to give 2 Fe2 plus plus 2 H2O2 Fe3 plus plus H2 plus 2O minus adding to this reaction one intact iron ion for each two oxidized iron ions leads to 3 Fe2 plus plus 2 H2O Fe2 plus plus 2 Fe3 plus plus H2 plus plus 2O minus electron neutrality requires the ion cations on both sides of the equation to be counterbalanced by 6 hydroxyl anions. 3 Fe2 plus plus 6O minus plus 2H2O Fe2 plus plus 2 Fe3 plus plus H2 plus 8O minus 3 Fe2 plus 2H2O Fe2 plus 2 Fe3 plus H2 for completing the main reaction reaction. Two companion reactions have still to be taken into account. The autoprotolysis of the hydroxyl anions, a proton exchange between two O-, like in a classical acid-base reaction O- plus O- O2- plus H2O, acid 1 plus base 2 base 1 plus acid 2, or also 2 O- minus O2- minus plus H2O. It is then possible to reorganize the global reaction as 3 Fe2 plus 2 H2O plus plus H2 3 Fe2 plus 2 H2O iron 2 oxide plus iron 3 oxide plus 4 H2O plus H2 3 Fe2 iron 2 oxide plus iron 3 oxide plus 2 H2O plus H2 considering then the formation reaction of iron oxide iron 2 oxide plus iron 3 oxide it is possible Possible to write the balanced global reaction. 3 Fe2 plus 2 H2O plus H2 in its final form, known as the Schickel reaction. 3 Fe2 plus 2 H2O plus H2 occurrences. The Schickel reaction can occur in the process of anaerobic corrosion of iron and carbon steel in various conditions. Anaerobic corrosion of metallic iron to give iron hydroxide and hydrogen. 3 2 plus H2 followed by the Schickel reaction. 3 Fe2 plus 2 H2O plus H2 give the following global reaction. 3 Fe plus 6 H2O plus 2 H2O plus 4 H2 3 Fe plus 4 H2O plus 4 H2 at low temperature. The anaerobic corrosion of iron can give rise to the formation of green rust, an unstable layer double hydroxide. In function of the geochemical conditions prevailing in the environment of the corroding steel. Iron hydroxide and green rust can progressively transform in iron oxide, or if bicarbonate ions are present in solution, they can also evolve towards more stable carbonate phases such as iron carbonate or iron hydroxycarbonate II. Chaconovite isomorphic to copper hydroxycarbonate II, malachite in the copper system. Application fields. Anaerobic oxidation of iron and steel commonly finds place in oxygen-depleted environments, such as in permanently water-saturated soils. Peat bogs are wetlands in which archaeological iron artifacts are often found. Anaerobic oxidation of carbon steel of canisters and overpacks is also expected to occur in deep geological formations in which high-level radioactive waste and spent fuels should be ultimately disposed. Nowadays, in the frame of the corrosion studies related to HLW disposal, anaerobic corrosion of steel is receiving a renewed and continued attention. Indeed, 
It is essential to understand this process to guarantee the total containment of HLW waste in an engineered barrier during the first centuries or millennia when the radiotoxicity of the waste is high and when it emits a significant quantity of heat. The question is also relevant for the corrosion of the reinforcement bars in concrete. This deals then with the service life of concrete structures, amongst others the near surface vaults intended for hosting low-level radioactive waste. Hydrogen evolution, the slow but continuous production of hydrogen in deep low permeability argillaceous formations could represent a problem for the long-term disposal of radioactive waste. Indeed, a gas pressure buildup could occur if the rate of hydrogen production by the anaerobic corrosion of carbon steel and by the subsequent transformation of green rust into magnetite should exceed the rate of diffusion of dissolved H2 in the pore water of the formation. The question is presently the object of many studies in the countries envisaging the option of disposal in clay formation, hydrogen embrittlement of steel alloys, when nascent hydrogen is produced by anaerobic corrosion of iron by the protons of water. The atomic hydrogen can diffuse into the metal crystal lattice because of the existing concentration gradient. After diffusion, hydrogen atoms can recombine into molecular hydrogen giving rise to the formation of high-pressure micro-bubbles of H2 in the metallic lattice. The trends to expansion of H2 bubbles and the resulting tensile stress can generate cracks in the metallic alloys sensitive to this effect also, known as hydrogen embrittlement. Several recent studies address this question in the frame of the radioactive waste disposal in Switzerland and Canada.